right, so now we're gonna get into a couple of different watercolor techniques. Um, once you feel pretty comfortable with how to actually pull the paint and, and mix it in your palette, this is really gonna help get you off to a really good start because you're gonna know how much paint to use and how much water to use. And these other techniques that we're gonna do are just gonna build on top of that. So um, this is where we're gonna use our, our flat brush. And I'm just gonna get my flat brush nice and wet. And we're gonna use the ultramarine blue. And I'm just kind of putting some water from my, from my cup over here almost like a dropper. You can actually use a dropper if you have one, you know, kind of laying around from an empty bottle. And I'm gonna pull a lot of paint over, and create a nice reservoir, with a lot of water here and a lot of paint. And this technique is called wash, and that's because you're simply washing the paint and the water on the page. So I'm gonna be covering this whole area right here, which is why I'm creating a little bit more paint and more water over here. So, you know, when you look at a painting and what you're gonna be doing, okay, oh, I'm gonna just be doing a wash in this section here, so I'm not gonna need just a whole lot of paint, just enough. And also you wanna know how light or how dark or how, you know, vibrant you want that wash to be. And with this one, we're not too concerned with all of those factors yet because we're not actually painting something just yet but um, because my bristles are really dark you can't really see all that paint in there but this holds a lot of paint and a lot of water so the bigger the brush the more it holds so as you can see I'm gonna go across and then down and as I go down you can kind of start to see where my brush is really drying out so I'm gonna pick up more more paint and more water and bring that all the way down. Now I kind of like having, you know, little bits of the paper left um, as kind of negative space. Uh, that's a really interesting technique to do that is really easy. It's just, you know, leave some of that paper showing. So I, I like that. Um, now this went on very consistently and very smoothly, but if yours is a little bit more streaky, just use a little bit more water, make sure this is mixed up really well. But, you know, streaks are okay in watercolor. That's, that's something, you know, that you want to have um, when you're doing maybe a sky or just something where it creates a lot more visual interest and, and <laughs> contrast on your painting. So that's perfectly okay. So now we're going to let this dry. But you notice how quickly that went. You really only need to just kind of brush that on and then rinse your brush out of the paint and the water and put your brush down and stop. Um, that's one of the most important things that you can remember with watercolor is that just lay the paint down and stop. That's all you got to do. The more that you brush your paper um, and treat it like a canvas, that paper is going to kind of peel up a little bit um, because it isn't a canvas. Uh, it is a little bit more fragile than that. So you do have to keep that in mind. I've only had one student actually <laughs> brush her paper so hard that it started to pull up. So it's it's a little difficult to do. You'd really have to sit here and just brush and brush and brush and brush. And that's a people's tendency because if you've painted with acrylic or oil, it's just a habit of wanting to sit here and just kind of keep moving it around and brushing it. But that's not how watercolor works. You just want to lay the paint and the water down and then put your brush down. So anytime you hear that little voice in your head that says, oh, let me just kind of keep smoothing this over and smoothing it over, that's when you know you should actually just stop and put the brush down. So put it on and then put the brush down. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our third square down here, which is we're gonna do another wash and it's gonna be a multicolor wash. And that's something that you can utilize for doing some landscapes, doing some sky clouds, um, sunrise, sunsets. This is a really helpful thing to learn how to do. So that way you had to do a couple of colors. These two are basically just a single color and then um, I've painted on top of it once it dried. So that's kind of why that looks a, a little different, but we're gonna do kind of a, a yellow down here and sort of a pink 
orangey pink up here. That way you can create a sky that looks similar to that. So very similar steps. We're gonna get our brush wet and I'm gonna mix up some of my, my red. Again, we're just gonna pull from that. Do a little bit more water in here. <laughs> then I'm gonna pull a little bit of yellow out. Yellow can be really bright or really transparent depending on how much you use. So I want this to be pretty uh, transparent. I want it to be nice and light, something kind of like this and this. So I'm gonna use a little bit more water. All right, and how we're gonna do this gradient wash is I'm gonna start at the top with one color. And you can see how much lighter this is compared to this wash. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this down about 75% of the way down, and then I'm gonna stop and rinse my brush out. And then I'm gonna pick up my second color, which is this yellow. Lots of water on my brush, and then I'm gonna start at the bottom. Then I'm going to paint up. I'm gonna go in the opposite motion here. And right where these colors sort of connect, I'm gonna keep going up. So what you want is a nice smooth transition between the two colors. You don't want a hard line of red and then yellow. So how you're gonna do that is to take, take that color and keep going up, just like that. 